Hey. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Hello, stranger. It, it hasn't been that long. Has it? Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Uh, thank you to Arabella for the Prime sub and Nico for two months. Thank you, thank you, guys. Uh, happy Saturday, everybody. Izzy the MILF, thank you so much for the one year! You're well. I am well, thank you for asking. Um, I hope you guys' this weekend has been going well. JubeTube, thank you so much for the 11 months. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Um, I, I wanted to stream yesterday, but I went to the gym and kicked my own ass, so I was just pooped. Uh, so I spent all day playing Elden Ring instead. <laughs> I'm Gracie, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi Ben. It's been great seeing you play SMTV. I'm getting through Nocturne myself. Smiley face. Hell yeah, thank you so much, Claude Benz, for eight months. Yeah, I love Nocturne, so enjoy it. Uh, be sure to go for the true demon ending. Just, like, do all, as much of the Amala, uh, Amala Labyrinth as you can. That's all you need to do. Um, Marilla Jones, thank you so much for gifting the sub to Silver Monarchy. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're gonna play more SMT5 because I, you know, Elden Ring DLC happened. So, I've just been playing that obsessively. Uh, so I need a break from that, so I'll play SMT instead. Played like 18 hours so far of Elden Ring, uh, the DLC, and I still feel like I'm barely making a dent. Cherry Juni, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome. A break from playing by playing. Exactly. I have to prep for Dawn Trail. Fuck, I have to prep for Dawn Trail. When did when did the servers go down? So what will Miles Edgeworth be investigating? Have you played through once, or is this your first time through? I played through... I played through all of, um, regular Elden Ring, and now I'm going through the DLC. And Whalian, thank you so much for the seven months. So what will Miles Edgeworth be investigating? Other men, happy pride. <laughs> Big. Yeah, I play FF14. Uh, I'm fully caught up on the story. I'm very excited for Dawn Trail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alright. Um, thoughts on the Nintendo Direct? Can we talk about how we're getting a Mario and Luigi game? Like a pro like an actual proper new Mario and Luigi game? Let's go our three month anniversary. Hell yeah, Devious Merc. Thank you so much for three months. Playable Zelda game too. And fucking. Metroid Prime 4 finally getting gameplay? Ugh. Oh, I was so happy. Finally able to catch a stream again since my summer has been so busy, but I hope your day has been well banned. Laughing face. Rina's bun, thank you so much for the three months. Yeah, my summer's also been busy, and it's about to get busier, because your boy's got four cons in a row. I've got four weekends that are gonna go to cons in August. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna do my best to try and stream during the weekdays. All, the, like, I think only one of those is a local con. So, uh, yeah, I gotta, like, I gotta show you guys, um, what we're cooking. Uh, let me, let me, let me bring this in to make it easier. And it's already an outdated image, too, so just bear with me. All right, here's the situation. 
Ben's con schedule. Plus 21. Forward slash 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 fifties nuts in your mouth. JK sorry, I'll excuse myself out. Thank you so much, Tag, for the five months. Forward slash. Um Alright, so Here's the deal, guys, it, for con stuff. Uh, this first one already happened, like the Game Realms one already happened. Uh, up next, these ones are happening. I'm going to Windbloom uh, this year in in uh, the the Mesquite Convention Center in Texas. Uh, but before that, this month, or next month, excuse me, I've got Teco that's happening in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on July 18th. In the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. Uh, and then in October, I've got Anime Wonder in Tucson. So, uh, there's those happening. But there are like three more that I'm going to be going at that haven't announced me yet. So, uh, once they do, I will add to this shitty little image that I made. Um, so, yeah. That's where I'll be showing up. Wahoo. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of fun. I'm gonna be meeting uh, a lot of people. I'm gonna tr I'm getting more prints made, uh, and hopefully some of the cool stuff I've been working on releases before some of these cons, so I can talk about them and ha make prints of them. It's you, Germa nine eighty five. Don't say that. He he retired from streaming. And now I... it feels empty inside. Hey ben. Jube, I might be coming to Florida, to winky face. What are we Stay tuned today? for more information. Jerma's literally live right- yeah, I know, he's playing through Elden Ring. He said that he would- uh, he said that he would play, uh, El through Elden Ring. Anyway, uh, let's boot up SMT and uh, get some get some gods punched. Give orange me, give eat orange me, eat orange, give me eat orange, give me you. So true. Uh, so where we last le left off, we were just exploring the desert. We were gonna go to, uh, Tokyo Tower. But, uh, while I was offline, I decided to play a bit more myself, and just to- just to get some side quests and stuff done. So... Yeah. Like, I- you guys didn't miss any story. I'm- I'm trying not to play any story off-stream, so you guys can experience all of the- all of the story. So let's go! Oh. Hey, could you not? Thank you. Bye. It's that easy, chat. Just tell a demon no. Silver Firefly, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. Alright, what am I doing? Uh, oh yeah. Let us make our way to Tokyo Town. Uh, on the subject of the VTuber, by the way. Oh, you want some? Well, do ya? Um... It's... The model has been complete. The model is done. We're gonna crash. <laughs> Webcup, thank you so much for the two months. Hey, boo. Yeah, model is done. Uh, so what's happening now is that we're just, uh... They're, they're working on the animations. There are a few animations. 
And uh, this thing is probably going to kick my ass now that I think about it, but we'll try our best. What the fuck is Tsukimogo? Okay, it's ice. Do I have anything that casts ice? Oh, Blade does. Let's go! Anime girl with knee high converse? Uh, knee high converse? His name's not just John. He's John Tensei, the main character of Shin Megami Tensei. Ponyhead, thank you so much for continuing your song. Appreciate it. Podemos dibujar al VTuber? Sí, de todas maneras. De todas maneras. I'm sorry for all the English speakers, but there's something I have to say in Spanish. Uh, recién me estoy enterando que, que mi acento chileno no es solo chileno, sino que es, es acento cuico. Que cualquier cantidad de gente me, me dijeron que en los comentarios que, que tengo acento cuico. Está diciendo, ¿qué, qué es eso? Y después me enteré que es todo un, una nueva cosa que, que no me. no sabía. ¿Te diste cuenta ahora? No, no, esto no era algo antes. Es nuevo esta cosa, es nuevo. For, for English speakers, uh, my accent in Chilean apparently has a very specific tone to it that is usually uh, reserved for like upper class Chileans. So like, I, I, like I, like I've got a, like a posh accent in Chilean, if that makes any sense. Eso es. Cuico es upper class. And I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't. I I feel like that's something that just happened while I was outside of Chile. Received pronunciation? I mean, kind of. Holy shit, that almost fucking destroyed me. I need to take this fight seriously. You ready? Sabes hacer acento argentino? Que antes vivía... Habían como comerciales argentinos que dicen... Che, probalo! Las nuevas gomitas! Probalo ahora. Me gomita porque no sé, no sé. How could you miss? Stop. This thing can just fully heal. I have to kill it in one turn. Is that what you want me to do? Uh, how about... Here's a better idea. How about... Bye. Jesus Christ. Ben, have you watched Lost? I haven't. I've seen a lot of shit posts from, like, my relationship with Lost is the same as my relationship with Breaking Bad. Where I've seen all of the memes, but I haven't seen the actual show. Gamers. Ben, you're more than a married couple, but not lovers. Audio is trending on TikTok. Which one? I feel like there's a lot of banger lines that I said for that show. All right. 
I need to set up my party because I know that there's a boss fight coming and it's gonna kick my ass. The cake scene? Oh. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. It's the one where it's, it's, um... They're not making cakes, are they? They're making something else. But it's like suggestive dialogue. The sus one. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. The cupcakes. Yeah. Milkshake audio? Is it milkshake? I don't remember. It's just like... It's uh, Jiro and... Um, oh, fuck, I forget her name. The other female lead that isn't the main lead. Um, it's them in the kitchen and they're using, like, cream thing. Shiori, yeah, exactly, thank you. Um, and it's suggestive. All right, I'm gonna fuse some demons to make this easier on myself. Hush, <laughs> little funky fella. Um. Let's get Tur Turdak. Uh, let's use... You guys. No. Yeah. Is this demon to you like? The you get bitches audio is the best? You mean when I read that from chat on a stream? If that's the case, yeah. It is pretty funny. Y si tengo capacidad, capacidad limitada. Bird. Friend. Little man. Bird up. What's the lore on, on Halfus? One of the 72 demons of the Ars Gitia. Have you paid your local gay person $200 for Pride Month yet? Too much Ike. Thank you so much for the eight months. Thank you, thank you. I I have not yet. But soon. Money's a little tight. <laughs> he is called the Count of Death and Destruction. Appears as a jet black dove with blood red eyes. He's a craftsman and builds towers full of weapons. Hey, laughing face. This bird makes weapons. Nipashu, thank you so much for the eight months. Bird, 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 bird up. Bram, bram, bram. I wish I could fuse high pixie, but whatever. Return. Uh, okay. Party. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get Turdok in there. Let's get. You don't have anything that can help. So we'll put Demon in there. We will give Demon a grimoire. <laughs> let me at him, let me at him! This move will shut him all up! It's a it's a buff, buddy. You need to relax. Nimue, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Appreciate it. Uh let's get rid of Actually I don't really need Tower Gotcha. I'm feeling just peachy, so you can have this! Okay. That's worthless to me, but thank you. Okay. Now let's go talk to the silly man. Well, look who's here. Um. That's my shot. Say thanks. Look at The world would be a perfect place if Ben was the only VA. You would get sick of me way faster than you think. I guarantee it. 
Plus, I, I, I fight for my friends. Don't get rid of my friends. Young man, I'm detecting a powerful demon in front of Tokyo Tower. We'll want to be extremely cautious if we intend to go any further. I've never played this game before. How does it work? It's Pokemon, but with adults. Algami will warn you anytime he detects the presence of a powerful demon. These warnings can hint at either upcoming bosses that block game progression, or exceptionally challenging foes lying in wait. It's best to save your game whenever Algami gives you a warning. Better safe than sorry, after all. Didn't SMT predate Pokemon? SMT didn't. Uh, but the series that SMT came from, which was just called Megami Tensei, that one uh, predates Pokemon. Anyway. I'm sure nothing will happen. So Persona without romance, if you really want to call it that, sure. It's the Dark Souls of Persona. What's a flat? Ooh. Heed my words, brethren. As decreed by the Seraphim, I, Abdiel, hereby take command of Bethel's holy army. Our foes are the demons of chaos, who swore allegiance to that contemptible snake! Yet fear not, we are all blessed with the divine protection of God himself! Warriors from far and wide, hear me now! Strike them down in the name of order! The unholy will find their deliverance by our blade! This game has religious symbolism? You have no idea, chat member. You have no idea. This is the religious symbolism series. That is genuinely Lucifer, like the Judeo-Christian Lucifer. God you cravenly revere is dead. Toast. <laughs> yeah, he's toast. Slain by my own hand, that humanity might finally live. And he's straight up like, I killed God, Lamau. Vile serpent, your lies mean nothing. I speak only the truth. I have ascended the pillar imperial, the throne of God. As an angel, you know what this means. Someone said smash? That's him, officer. That's the- that's the chat user that took the Lord's name in vain. He goes. He got embarrassed because people kept saying smash. You're not quite sure how to interpret what you just saw. So many people were saying smash. And that was just straight up Lucifer. People want to fuck Lucifer? The ultimate evil? That was a colossal demon! Lucifer, the lord of chaos himself. The most powerful demon there is, and commander of their legions. They say many people wanted to smash him. Shortly after our encounter, my operations ceased. 
It was only after I sensed your presence that I reactivated. I've since recovered a portion of my memory data. Yes, I was an agent of Bethel, and I was sent here on an important mission. Yeah, in, in SMT, Lucifer and Satan are considered different people. They have a base not far from here, at the Tokyo Diet Building. There, the angels of Bethel work tirelessly to protect the people. Young man, it is my guess that the angel who took your friend will also be there. Let us make our way to the Tokyo Diet Building. For your own safety. Hey! Hey! This is no time to space out! Something's coming! What the? What the? Oh no! Oh no! Look at that pose. <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? Alright. First major boss of the game. It's a Hydra. That did nothing. Okay, yeah, it is it is weak to ice. It's good to know. Okay, he's not doing as much damage as I, I was worried about, so that's good. So we're just gonna debuff his attack and defense. And Yoko doesn't have ice attacks, which is really cool. So use ice attacks. Yeah, they do kind of look like xenomorph heads, huh? Um, I also don't have ice. <laughs> Maybe I should heal. This? Get on the Hydra's back! That's not the right game, but good reference. <laughs> eat it? <laughs> I'm not gonna eat. Don't eat the Hydra. Also, it's gonna charge up for a big attack. I'm gonna make a big gamble here, gamers. And I'm gonna assume that it's gonna use its fire breath. This'll do. So I'm gonna use a fire dampener to nullify that, and hopefully I don't get owned. How's this? Good crit. Good crit! Go Papyrus, go! <laughs> I can't believe I've got Papyrus Undertale in my party. Uh, let me, let me... Not yet. Nope, it was toxic breath. Oh! G it's okay. We're fine. We're good. Uh, okay, what do I do? Um... Okay, Rakunda's about to wear off. Um... Do I wanna de-poison people? Yeah, I guess I should. Should take some time to do that. No. I'm gonna play Risky. Um, 
what we do. Okay. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. We're still fine. That's not ideal. You are cooked? No, I'm not cooked yet. Alright. Papyrus got fucking deleted. Okay, so Palade's out. I can start doing more weakness hits. I will keep its attack down. I should have healed MC. It's okay, I'll do it now. Don't worry. There we go. Okay. Now we go sicko mode. This is the turn where we go sicko mode. Watch this. That didn't really do that much damage, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, let's do ice gem. I'll finish you. Defense down. I should have defended with Palade because he's gonna use Fire Breath, I think. You! You! No, he's doing that shit. Okay. Alright. How do I defend? I guess I just defend, defend. Yeah. Poison breath? Yeah. Oh, demon is resistant against, I mean, he nullifies uh, poison. That's good. Where's the I'm leaving option? There isn't one. He's gonna use fire breath. I am about to die. Yep. This is gonna destroy Blade. Oh no! I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Barbecued. Yep, yeah, pretty much. All right. Uh, I need to figure out my party situation. Um, I need to teach John an ice spell to make this easier. Welcome to the... Is Yoko gonna wear a fancy ass outfit like John's? Who knows? All right. Who can teach me Bufu? You. Hmm. But I have to give up one of my debuffs. I'll just get rid of Zio then. Yeah. 
How is this? Uh, is there anything I can do to... Okay, so you know... Poison. Is that a dark elemental attack? Let me double check. I'm gonna do some... I'm gonna do some experimentation on this. You brought marker? I hope. No. Dark dampener. Look into... <laughs> Say thanks. Need anything? Taken off? Alright. Also, let me organize my party. Okay. Alright. Now I'm ready. That was just a warm up. I am warmed up now. I am ready to play the video game. I was merely pretending. That was, I can't believe that it made that noise. I can't believe it actually made that noise. Start now with fire breath. Okay, good, good. Nobody died. Nobody died. We're good. We're fine. Nobody said smash for this thing, right? No, somebody did. <laughs> somebody definitely did. You, you, you little man. All right. I'm gonna do another gamble here, gamers. I think the attack that it does is dark element. So I'm gonna use this and see if it works. But there's a chance it doesn't. And if that is the case, then oopsie, oopsie, oopsie doopsie. But I'm gonna guard on uh, Papyrus. If you lose, what do we win? Uh, you get to see this boss fight again. Yippee. Yeah! Okay, that works. Good. Alright, that makes it a lot easier. I've, fi I've cracked the code. I've connected the dots. Can't unsee the Eiffel Tower. It's the Tokyo Tower. There's multiple kinds of towers, guys.
I wanted you to hit the guy that literally resists fire, but sure, you can not do that. I won't be upset. I'm upset. Anyway, let's go fucking sicko mode again. It's eyes, it doesn't need eyes. You are done. I'm gonna tag out Papyrus. Let's go and get a little kitty cat. He's gonna do his bullshit again. So this is basically a free turn. Freeze. Um, let me do dark. Don't, Don't worry. Oh, you are worthless. You don't have enough mana to do anything. So I guess I could get played in here. That's actually bad. It might he might do a different attack. I might have fucked myself by doing too much damage. Oh no! Oh! 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 Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> On this week's episode of I Shouldn't Be Alive. 4 HP in a dream. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can, uh, I can bounce back. I also need to heal up Yoko, but getting John back up is paramount. Yeah, insta lose if John goes down. Oh, he's gonna do fire breath. I know he's gonna do fire breath. I know he's gonna do fire breath. No, he's gonna. Oh, he's just gonna frenzy. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. We're good. Defense lowered. And John desperately needs mana. Red health. We're getting there. Don't hit Palade! Don't hit Palade! No! Oh,
Let's go. Okay. All right. Fresh Karunda. Judgment. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked! I'm like, yeah, let me use Dream Needle, which has a chance of putting an enemy to sleep. It actually worked. I'm gonna see if I can finish it this turn. That's really weak. I can't afford to fail. Hama? No. Survive. Survive. No. <laughs> He did just enough damage on the fucking crit. If that move if that attack didn't crit, I would have won. Shin Megami Tensei, baby! Ho <laughs> 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 SMT. Okay, I'm gonna use another Grimoire on Demon. And I'm gonna use one on Turdak. And I'm also... Yeah, your whole game goes because like John John Tensei is the leader of the bunch. So if he dies, then all of your demons are like, "Well, we don't know what to do now." Lucifer. Shortly after I Believe it or not, chat, Persona is the same way. If, uh, if John Joker dies in Persona, then that's a game over. Alright, this time for realsies. Attack and then charge. I have my dark dampener. I will actually no. I'll have Yoko use it. So get one more Lufu in. Dark dampener. Lufu again. Good crit. Very good crit. Uh, Rakunda. Linda. I can't afford it. 
The boss has their health bar above yours. No, Magatsuhi is uh, like my super gauge. Uh, the boss's health bar is right above its name there, where it says Hydra. Blocked, nerd! Alright. Uh, so I will actually use this opportunity to give John more mana. All right, I'm gonna go for a, uh, like a Giga Brain, Giga Chad read right here. I'm gonna predict that he's gonna use Fire Breath. So I'm gonna use a Fire Dampener. Nope, bad read. He's gonna go for Poison Breath again, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Although, I'm, I feel like I should hold off until the last turn to see if I can get him into his physical only state again. I'm gonna do that. Might be a bit risky. But we'll see. No. Okay, no, this is what I need to do. Fuck, I shouldn't have hit him with the, uh, that. I'm not gonna damage him, and I'm gonna use Dark Damner so he wastes a turn here. And then you don't do anything. Okay. Okay, I've I've got maximum sicko mode gauge. I could go for sicko mode. But he doesn't have any defense debuffs, which is really annoying. So I'm gonna debuff him. I'm gonna gamble for the fire breath again. I am going to pass with you. I'm going to pass with you. I'm going to do Chakra Dump on Demon. Okay, there it is. Good. All right. Now we go sicko mode. beheaded, so now it's going to be all physical all the time. So I just need to do as much damage as I can this turn. Turdok doesn't have any fucking... Yeah, that's a problem. Get him, Papyrus! Uh, okay... What are you going to do next turn? You're going to use a physical attack. Am I prepared? Am I emotionally prepared for what's to come? Do I have anything that gets rid of physical? I don't. So I'm going to... Goofy. He's in red health. And I'm going to... Make sure that your attack stays low. Going to life drain here. And then I'm going to tag out. No. Maybe I shouldn't. I'll bring Angel in to see if I can make it fall asleep again. Your turn. Go! I just need to survive this turn. 
okay? Okay, good, 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 good. We are, we are, we are locked in. We are doing very well. No sleep, big cringe, but it's okay. We're good. We're still good. I'm going to use this to heal everybody. Oh, heavenly father, deliver them light. Thank you, Jesus, for the heal. That's not ideal. That crit is disastrous! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We are good. We're good. As soon as I saw that crit on uh, on Demon, I was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, no, we got this. We got this. He's sleepy. Big sleepy, but I will murder him. Wow, you're pretty good, huh? Yes. Gamers. Indeed, not only are you powerful, but a good leader as well. I don't think we could have won without you. It's unclear how much comes from your transformation, or if you were like that to begin with. Either way, your strength is hashtag real. I've felt worried ever since I ended up in this place, but I'm lucky I ran into someone as capable as you. Were you really worried? Or I feel the same way. Romance option? <laughs> no. N not not the game. Not the game, not the universe. Worry? Cringe. <laughs> Were you really, really worried? <laughs> if I appeared impassive, it's because I was concealing it. I was taught not to show my weakness. Let's work together. I hope I can continue to con to count on you for direction. Lead the way, John. Who is John's VA? Uh, Casey Mondolo. Knight of Kavalot, thank you so much for the raid. And Mule, thank you so much for the five months. OMG, Ben, I never knew you were a gamer. Shocked Ben Bepog anyway. I hope you're having a good day today. You never knew I was a gamer? I... I'm, I'm gonna kill myself. Do not waste your life. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Ketchy. I appreciate it. Algami wants to have a conversation. Let's go talk to our friend. He's gonna be like, young man, have you heard of Fortnite? Young man. <laughs> I thought he was about to say it, because <laughs> he opened with young man. You did well in defeating the Hydra, Scourge of the Tower. Some power within me is reawakening. Did I myself once stand against a many-headed snake, perhaps? No doubt you have gone through all kinds of novel experiences on this journey as well. Yes. Even so, I respect you for refusing to give up. You chose to fight alongside me. Your powers as an Ahobino have risen. Oh, is it just a... Yeah, it's a free stat stimmy. I'll... I'll put some into... Hold. 
For now, you have my cooperation, if not my loyalty. I bid you remember, however, that our alliance is only as strong as the contract that binds us. That binds it. You the Galaxy Gamer, thank you so much for gifting a song. And Zeph, welcome. How you doing, man? I am quite confident in my abundance of stamina. If a traveler catches my fancy, I'll chase them around all night. Wait, <laughs> no. It's bad. Hey. Are you close with Atsuta? What about with any of the other students or teachers? I never really had any other friends at school. I guess that's why the whole prospect is hard for me to imagine. Wonder if it's too late for me to try making any friends. It's never too late to make friends. Even if you're an old guy, you can do it. This place is cramped as hell! Way too damn small for a demon lord like me! <laughs> demon. Everyone acts like I'm so annoying, but I can help out too, you know. Like that one time I helped Benjamin Franklin. His lightning experiment only worked because of me. Which is totally true, by the way. You believe me, right? Chat, do you believe him? Vote now on your phone. Oh, there's more There's new shit! Some new shit! <laughs> Welcome! What do you- what do you have? Oh, I can buy essences. I don't really need any. Perchance bring more Maka next time, yeah? Perchance. You can't just say perchance. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin mentioned <laughs> air horn sound. Is there a meme on here? Where is the Mimon? Give me the Mimon. There's no Mimon. Mimonless behavior. Is there seriously not a, a, a funny little man here? There isn't. Well now, you're certainly the capable sword, aren't you? I can tell. I'm Lean and Seed, and I grant power to those with grift-gifted minds. What better way to make their dreams come true, wouldn't you say? I believe that we all carry some measure of talent within. But not everyone is aware of their potential, however. That's why I find the talent that best suits the individual. If they desire it, I can magnify that potential a hundredfold. However, it doesn't come free, as the cost is paid with their life force, you see. For instance, the Ipon Datara here traded his lifespan and received the talent of a legendary craftsman. It's damn right I did. Better than having no talent at all and barely scraping by. Man really said, I'll bust out my talent any way I can. <laughs> Unfortunately, a rather inelegant demon has been making others give up on their dreams, snuffing out their budding potential. Have you ever come across a demon named Apsaras? She's a meddling siren who's managed to gather quite a following as of late. She persuades weaker demons to settle for a life that matches their situation, claims she's giving them just enough to get by. But all she's really doing is using them as a means to forge her own circle of gods. She doesn't care about uniqueness or individuality at all, not one bit. Everyone has their own talents, their own strengths and weaknesses, do they not? Don't you think it's terrible that she fails to see that? Hey. In light of all this, I'd like to ask you something. Would you put a stop to Apsaras' plan? I know you can defeat Apsaras. Well, how about it? All right. So I can either kill this girl or kill the other girl. Which girl do we kill? Let me teleport to Apsaras so you know you what the other one is. Which is hotter? Well, you, may, you be the judge. Once once we zip on over there. Hmm. 
What route am I going for? I'm going for whatever routes there are in Vengeance. This is Apsaras. So yeah, which which one chat? Put up a poll. Mods put up a poll. If we if we kill Lenin or kill Apsaras. Making people settle when they could be pressing a better life is whack. Yeah, I agree more with, uh, with, uh, how to, how to spell it? L-E-A-N-A-N. Absodus is cute. Just to, just to go back, to refresh you guys' memory again. It's either between Apsodas or... This one. Hey. Let me, uh, let me make the poll myself. Uh, and go. Can we choose none? Yeah, by not voting. My skill as a craftsman is shoddy as can be. An embarrassment to my kind, actually. But you know what? I asked Lean and Sheep for help, and suddenly a whole bunch of doors started opening for me. Thanks to her, I'm going to use my new skills and become the best stonemason in the biz. What does he scream every time? That's just how he expresses himself. Personally, I do agree with Lean and Sheed's, uh, like, philosophy more. Cool. We're, we're siding with her, then. Good luck to you, she says. Sixty-nine percent. Nice. By pretty girl, they're both pretty girls. This was a win win situation. Alright, I think she's weak to fire. So let me see if I have any gamers with fire. You have fire. You don't have fire. You have fire. You don't have fire. Yeah, this is, like, this is just an alignment choice, and we're so early that alignment doesn't really matter all that much. You're an assassin here, sent by the deceitful muse. I won't allow anyone to stop me from bringing salvation. It is you who will die!
She just slapped Yoko. Oh god, they're already gaining Magatsuhi. We unfortunately do have to fight the pretty lady. That's how it goes in this bitch of an earth. I'm trying to see if I can put her to sleep at least. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Two HP and a dream. I am getting awful so many fucking close calls in these in these fights. Yeah, I think uh Absaras is uh like an Indian uh or a Hindu goddess. Heal her? Oh, you have to die. Don't care. Perish. We did it. Yada. this be? It seems we couldn't get you to see our way of thinking after all. All we wanted was to offer our own form of salvation to the weak, and yet you trample upon that. If weaker demons hope to survive, they need a pr protector to grant them sanctuary. Where is the fault in that? No, I'm sure there are some who wouldn't, won't agree with our methods. If that is how you feel, and you wish to save the weak in your own way, then I won't speak against that. That is the duty of those who are strong. Absodus fled. We did it! <laughs> and now to collect our reward. Hard left turn here, chat, but... I was just thinking about the Nintendo Direct and like all the RPGs that they showed off and there's a lot of really cool RPGs on the way. Here you go. Hey. Uh -huh. Like it's wild to me that Phantom Brave is getting a sequel after like 10 years. Or no, not even 10 years. It's been like almost 20 years, it feels like. That game was out in the PS2. Like the original one. Hey. You reported that you put an end to Absanus' plan. <laughs> we did it. Ooh. The cat leveled up! Wow. <laughs> Why don't I join you? I'm sure I can help. <clears throat> oh. Oh wait, I, I can make room. I can make room. <laughs> you made the right choice to side against Absanus. I, I didn't think she could be trusted either. Absodas was basically building something like a compulsory education system, wasn't she? But still. But if you think about how an actual school works, then the problems become clear. 
Don't lie. Get along with others. That's what you're taught growing up. But once you're out in the real world, honesty and selflessness only set you up for failure. Oh my god! Is she gonna say that we live in a society? All that system does is maintain the cycle of oppression, sanctioning the exploitation of the weak. Just like my school. No. Sorry. Now's not the time to talk about this. Let's move on. We live in a we live in a society, John. You need to understand that. I should fuse uh, some demons rather than just let them go. You're 13, and this is deep. This is a plus 18 stream. Please leave. Also, don't announce your age on the internet. Welcome to the... None of these really work for me. You're an adult, then act like it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. There, we have a new pretty lady, chat. Is this demon to I'm glad to meet you. Let me fuse some more. Is this demon to your life? What do you want, gremlin? It's not like I can't do good work. I just gotta, like, actually care about it. So now I'm getting serious. Gremlin powered up. Gremlin's agility increased by two. Wow. 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 Good job. Two agility, wow. Hey. There she, she's level 17. She's so strong. A beautiful fairy of Irish lore that yearns for the love of a human man. She drains the life of her lovers in return for granting them artistic inspiration. There is a... Um, there's an anime called uh, Ancient Magus Bride, and uh, there is a character who is one of these uh, fairies. It was like the gardener, dude. Can we have her flying alongside instead of the other fairy? No. You're gonna have a Manazako as your partner and you're gonna like it. Here it is, chat. The Eiffel Tower. Ah, Paris. I hate sand. It's and so the Hydra is slain. 
fine work. Who are you? Feet. A pleasure to meet you, young man. I am a humble monk of Jozoji Temple. My name is Goku. Goku? I sensed a disturbance in Tokyo. My search brought me a long way, and now I roam these lands. The Buddha's guidance compelled me to save you, but... I see you never truly needed my help. But surely you did not pass wholly unscathed. Pardon the presumption, but let me give you this. High five. I will be wandering this place for a while yet. If your path takes you across these dunes, I suggest you head that way. The angels of Bethel gathered in that distant place. It will surely be a safe haven. For now, farewell. May our paths under the Buddha's gaze cross again one day. Return pillar. Return pillar is an item that allows you to instantly return to the last ley line to find. Oh, finally, I got a shortcut. Hey, hey, hey! Over here! Like, seriously! What do you want? Hey, you were talking about angels just now, weren't you? Oh, oh! In that case, I saw an angel inside the city over that way. Come on, let's go check it out! I'll show you myself, okay? Mm -hmm. She's so excited. As I said earlier, the angels are with Bethel, and they operate out of the Tokyo Diet Building. We should meet with that angel and ask him for directions on how to get there. Okay, time to find us an angel. Okay. Three revival beads, that's not bad. Hello, naked bird man. Eighteen years prior, God's faithful stood against the armies of chaos. In time, that battle came to be known as Armageddon. Okay. <laughs> Considering they call it Armageddon, I'm sure you can imagine the scale. Quite a significant battle, yes, with great power and glory to the victor. And obviously that would be Lucifer. If the angels cling to their denial, they stubbornly fight a war that has already been won for years. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Let's explore the land a little bit. She the shite. She the magic. She the, uh... The, uh, the, um, the adventure. I do want to go up there where that red thing is and beat the shit out of it. But I think, uh, is that a fucking dragon? I'm going to go over and beat up that dragon. Mimon, I see a Mimon. Let me go up there. Let me let me get my boy. Oh, there's one down here. Family. Can we talk to the dragon if I find my way to the dragon? I could probably talk to it. All these horsies. Can you get the dragon in your team? Probably. Watch out! Is the MC Greg Chun? No, it's 
John Tensei. Unless you're talking about the unfused version of the- Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Uh, wait, let's talk this out. Almost a full moon, so excited, I cannot wait! Demon seems to be in good spirits. Could it be because a full moon is coming? You want me to join you? Lucky you, I'll give you a good deal. 379 Maka, sure. Almost all your life? I didn't have much to begin with. Ask for something else. Have that. Sure. Oh my god! I have too many boys. I really need to get more demon stock. I'm an idiot. More girls. <laughs> that was a horse, but okay. Hope you're having a good day, Ben and Chat. <laughs> Smiley face. Bear Bear, thank you so much for the two months. Sup, Papyrus. Plenty of demon folks might have requests for you. Of course, some of those requests might get you killed. Watch yourself, boyo. He's Skelly from Hades. <laughs> Look at the McCoys. They're just hanging out. I saw a unique enemy up here, so I'm gonna go up these stairs and kick its ass. <laughs> Do you Naruto run? Yes. What are you weak to? Fire. Wonder what kind of demon took down Hydra. They've got to be super jacked. Wish I was that tough. The Angel Stronghold is just the left of this intersection. I don't think I want to get too close though. Why is it ugly? <laughs> be nice to the demons, chat. Welcome to the world of shadows. I get more yes. You wished. I need more demons. You wish you wish. I wish. Alright, let's fuse a couple of things. I could fuse it like one. Combine two cats to get a bird. Hmm. Interesting how that shakes out. Make myself a little piggy. Is this demon to your liking? I know you were very excited for this release. Is it meeting expectations so far? Yeah. I mean, I really want to know more about like the story, but we haven't reached those parts yet. 
I'm just gonna fuse around. Is this deal? Who could it be? Return. I'm waiting to see the famous Jack Frost. I as soon as as soon as uh, he shows up, I need y'all to go fucking ape shit. Look at these little fellas. Look at these little dudes. Freeze. What? I could have sworn they were weak to life. Just, uh, just do that again. Or, or miss completely. That works too. I think I'm gonna die. There she goes. When the going gets tough, the tough, get the heck out of there. All right, so, should probably not go down that way. At least not for now. Can you fight? I can scream. <laughs> yeah. All right. Actually, chat. Uh, Monster, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. I appreciate it. Um, I honestly think this might be a good place to leave it off because there really isn't going to be any story for like three to four more hours. It's just going to be exploring. And I kind of am tired. Because I uh, I woke up super early today because <laughs> uh, some cleaners came by. Um, but I'm not going to end the stream immediately. I'm just going to stop playing SMT and I'm just like going to talk, I guess. If that's okay with you guys. I can give you another teaser on the VTuber to make up for it. So let me just do... Let me just close this shit down. And we'll hang out for a bit. Okay. And this goes here. And then this goes here. And then this goes here. Yeah. Uh, ben, have you watched Ultraman Rising? Yes. I loved it. And if any of you guys haven't watched it, go watch it. It's on Netflix. Please go watch it.
Thanks for streaming. I'm still gonna be around. Let me let me uh let me see what a good what a good uh slice of the uh slice of the uh VTuber is. I can show you their phone. I'm preparing the image. Give me one second. Phone reveal, yes. They have a phone? Of course they do. They're a demon summoner. It's part of the, the demon summoner's kit is to have yourself a sick iPhone. Just kidding, it's an Android. Alright, and then this goes here. Alright. Here it is, you ready? Well, bam! Look at that cute case! A second VTuber sneak peek has just hit the tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so originally I was gonna have like a little demon as her phone case, but then, uh, my artist was like, hey, uh, like, I figured the pointy things were, like, cat ears, so I made a little cat, uh, thing, and I'm like, that wasn't what I had in mind, but I love it, so let's keep that. Chepio, thank you so much for redeeming the nice redeem. Everyone, please say nice. Uh, but yeah, so th this, I've already like established that there's two characters in this VTuber, but this character, yeah, she she has a cute little little phone. It's part of the uh, part of the thing. Part of the uh, part of the experience. It's one of her one of her many toggles that she's got, and you see a portion of her face right there. I already showed you guys the um, the eyes from a previous stream, but for those that didn't see it, this is them. This is their persona, you know, critical hit cut in right here. Yeah, the the color of the eyes like give orange me give eat orange me eat orange give me eat orange give me you give orange give her orange The color of her eyes are like I all the colors of this character I've I was very like particular about She's so tired looking, yeah. Here's here's a spoiler, she's a gamer. <laughs> yeah, like me. Very good like you, Redeem. Great job. Good shit. I will gladly give her orange. <laughs> Gamers. Uh, but yeah, I'm super, super jazzed about how it's turning out. And um, I'm like trying not to to overload my artist with too many things. Uh, but she is gonna have, like, two different toggles. I'm having it so she's gonna be able- she's gonna be the one holding the controller for gaming. And, like, the- the buttons will actually correspond to the buttons that I'm pressing IRL. It's got, like, that kind of technology on it. So I'm very excited. It's costing me a little extra, but it, I feel like it's worth it. 
And I already have like a billion other ideas, but it's like at this point, uh, um, I I'm like, I might as well just, uh, just save a lot of them for, for V2. If that ever happens. But I want my V1 to be very, very, uh, complete. Will you have redeems for the VTuber? I want the redeem where you can just throw shit at her. There's like a there's like a VTuber that um, I forget her name, but she she's like an old timey like black and white cartoon, and there's a redeem to just drop a piano on her. I thought that was really funny. One of you probably know who I'm talking about. What was her name? Pumpkin Potion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's really funny. Uh, Pencil129. Thank you so much for the six months. And Tsumimi. Thank you so much for the seven months. And Cherry Juni. Thank you so much for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, she's really cool. Uh, Pumpkin Potion is, is her name. Um... Already preparing the girl for an onslaught. <laughs> Although maybe maybe like the redeem will throw stuff at the other character in the VTuber. Not the girl. It'll be the other one. Cause remember, it's two characters. Um What if we want to target the girl? <laughs> Did you see how tired she was? Leave her alone. Can we throw oranges? I'm going to try and make it so it's specifically oranges that get thrown. In tandem with the give orange, me give orange. Which one is capturing your expressions? That's kind of like a, like a, a spoiler question. But... Uh, to say, to apologize for the uh, earlier ending of the stream, I'll give it to you. Uh, the other character is going to be mapped to my face. She is not going to be very emotive. But the other character will be very emotive to compensate. Like, I, I, I mentioned already how every artist that I've, like, brought this character to has been like, this is such a cool idea. And I'm like, oh, thank you. I thought, I, you know, I figured I was, I was being boring, or ripping someone else off, but, but no. They're all very excited, and now it's got me excited. A gremlin we can pelt? Sure. Perhaps. Perhaps it is a gremlin of some kind. Maybe a little... Mm, goblin. Little goblino. Insomniac and her sleep paralysis demon. Isn't, like, Juzo a sleep paralysis demon? <laughs> I can't do that. He already has that, that, uh... That market cornered. He's a friend, and I love him. Also, sorry that we didn't do Shadows of Rovelda... Um, earlier, guys. Uh, we- everyone's just been busy. And I think next Friday also is gonna be a busy day. So, sorry for all the Velders out there. God. I'm still thinking about the Nintendo, right? Like, we're- Mario and Luigi, man. We've got, like, Mario RPG... Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and now Mario and Luigi. Like, all three Mario RPG series are back. And on the Switch. It beggars belief. Mario fans eating good? Honestly, Mario fans have been eating good f since, like, Mario Odyssey. Which is good, because I feel like Mario's been in a bit of, like, a... Like a playing it safe slump. 
where they just had new Super Mario Brothers for a while, and then, like, a bunch of Paper Mario games that were trash. Uh, and it just felt like they didn't really want to take any risks. But then Mario Odyssey and Mario Wonder were like, hey, what if we took a bunch of risks? What if we did a bunch of cool things? And, like, it's been paying off in dividends. And now I feel like they're, they're, uh, they're pushing it further. And they're like, oh, well, now we can have more wacky worlds and shit in, uh, Mario and Luigi. Let's have everything be electrical socket. It's so funny, because when I was watching the trailer, I've joked constantly that there's never going to be a game that truly frightens me unless it's a game about electrical sockets and having to plug shit into electrical sockets and having them spark. Because uh, that's my biggest fear. And now this fucking Mario game has a bunch of, like, plug people. <laughs> I'm finished. I'm done. New Zelda's coming up? Hell yeah, New Zelda's coming up. It looks great. Like, we're playing a Zelda for the second time ever. Nintendo's never gonna admit it was the second time. They're gonna say, no, this is the first time Zelda's ever been playable. But no. Real ones know the truth. I'm gonna- I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring up Zelda CDI. We're gonna watch some Zelda CDI cutscenes. That's what we're gonna do. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, chat. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. Zelda CDI. Wand of Gamelon playthrough. One hour and 36 minutes. <laughs> no thanks. I'm good. Wand of Gamelon cutscene. All Wand of Gamelon cutscenes. It's 8 minutes, 46 seconds. That is perfect. Zelda, Don't! Alright, give me a second. Give me one second, chat. Alright. This is the, the Eldritch... The Eldritch Truth that Nintendo has been trying to hide from the masses. The, the horrors that they don't wish for anybody else to know. Zelda, Wa Legend of Zelda, Wand of Gamelon. Zelda, Duke Onkled is under attack by the evil forces of Ganon. I'm going to Gamelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? I'll take the Triforce of Courage to protect, protect me. If you, if you don't, don't hear, hear from, from me in a month, month send Link. Impa. Impa? Don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom promises the king will safely return. I have this entire fucking cutscene memorized. In the I, I wonder what's, what's for dinner. Oh boy! I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok! A whole month gone, and still no word. A whole month gone. And still no word. I'm no, certain the he's king all right. Yeah, that old Ganon's no, no match, match for the, the king. king. Link, go to Gamelon and find my father. Great! I can't, I can't wait, wait to, to bomb, bomb some Dodongos! Wake up, Impa. We're going to Gamelon. Wake up, Impa. We're going to Gamelon. All right, dear. I'll get the Triforce of Wisdom. How about a kiss for luck? That's in the other game. Okay, that was the opening to Wand of Gamelon. It is uh, a pretty bad game. That, uh, that Philips, the Philips company decided to make. They're like, hey Nintendo, can we have the rights to Mario and Zelda to make our own games for the Philips CDI? And for whatever reason, Nintendo was like, yeah, sure. And then they made this. <laughs> 
<laughs> and Nintendo was like, let's never do this again. Of course let's... I'm on your side, but I still have to sell the stuff. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. They... They move so... Weird. It's like a nightmare, you know? Sorry, is Zelda. Not enough rubies. You'll have to wipe out a few more gorillas to get that. Rupees, not rubies. It's rupees. Everyone ran when the Gleok came, but monsters know better than bothering me. Here's a shroud give that scares orange, the rats off Gibdo. Look how look how comfy Zelda looks. <laughs> this is this is me when when it's a Saturday night and it's cold outside and I've got some hot chalky. I'm ready to watch a little little TV show. And I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's blanket core. She looks so happy. <laughs> She's happy in her little in her little cape. She's so happy. A little blanky. Hello, dearie. Oh, just a minute. Isn't it lovely? Bring some fairy dust, and I'll make it a magic cloak. Why- I don't understand why they keep giving them, like, nightmare eyes. Like, they're like, we're gonna- The animators are like, hey, what if we- What if we gave her nightmare eyes? Those darn Moblin have eaten everything! i give anything for an Arpago's sake! Nice jump over the Goma Pit! Here, have a drink! Thanks. Hey, there's a fisherman trapped in the fish head. Really? Thank. This is also why they don't want to... Why it took forever for them to add voice acting to Zelda games. You saved me. That's the last time I'm going fishing. See you in Sakado. There he goes. Look, I got a new job. Hey, bring a heat crystal. I'll fix up your sword. For the dead shall rise. And the living shall be their slaves. She must be stopped. This... <laughs> Were these the same VAs as the Zelda cartoon? Mm, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they weren't. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna skip ahead to, like, my favorite ones. Uh... Let's see. Where's the you killed me? Oh, my cakes will burn. Give me the cakes will burn, oh, man. Oh my, it looks like everyone's been taken to Taikogi Tower. This is illegal, you know. I think about that man saying that, like, at least a week, uh, like, once a week. Like, I'll be, I'll be walking down the street, and then it'll be like that Akira meme cutscene. Where I just hear him go, this is illegal, you know. My cakes will burn. That too. And the and the silly sound. My cakes will burn. Wew. Zelda. Come on, hurry. It's awful. Mayor Cravendish has been chained in the tower. Oh my cakes. Come see me in Oh my cakes. You Dare defy me? You will die. Guess again, Iron Knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Let's get out of here. This is... I forgot about that cutscene. <laughs> Where Zelda just like, clonks that dude with her sword, and then they're just like, He's dead. Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> this is this was the peak of Zelda storytelling, by the way, when it first came out. Zelda kills a man. And the, the his, yeah, he's dead while his heart is still beating. The heartbeat means he's not dead. 
God! It feels like this game was made by a crazy person. Oh, the indignity. Please, your highness, would you kindly cut the chains that bind me? Did he just scratch his nose with his knee? How, why would Benjamin Franklin do this? Ouch! <laughs> Thank you, princess. I managed to conceal this magic lantern. I hope it can be of use. Your friend Link could eat ten of these. <laughs> At least. Ha! The Arpagos could <laughs> die for them. Let's see. That ought to do it. Works pretty good. Do you this, see anything? He added a yes. gun to oh, her sword. Why? Your father has been captured. What about Link? He's been in a terrible fight. I can't tell what happened. Oh dear, Wizrobe has captured Lady Alma. I'm not afraid of you. Ha! Then wait here until you are. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like these characters were designed by someone being like, we need an evil wizard. Make an evil wizard. And then, like, they drew this. Like, yeah. It's... That sure is an evil wizard. He's got a big purple robe, and he's got fangs, and he's an ugly man. Good job. You... D character design. God, some of these, like, in-between frames are... are horrifying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not the disintegration spell! He's fucking dead. Link told me about you. You know Link? Sure. He gave me his canteen for a kiss. You kissed him? Here. It's empty anyway. So... In this game's universe, Link canonically fucks? Question mark? I don't... I don't know, man. Look how your father was captured. You are my prisoner. Hey! Silence! Hectan, keep the runt in chains. Yes, master. Hey! This... That all that guy said. Hectan is dangerous. Ready? Am I here? Or here? Or here? <laughs> Next. This man blew up a robot as part of his wacky little introduction. Where is he? Where is he going to be next, chat? I'll tell you. He's going to be dead. You've killed me. Good. Best cutscene in the game, right there. 10 out of 10 game. You've killed me. Good. And then she does the, the proudest, the proudest smile ever seen. Look at, look how fucking cocky she is. This is the face of a of a of of Zelda Legend of Zelda after killing a man. She took a life and she enjoyed it. Duke Uncle betrayed the king. I know. Strike the head of the portrait to enter Uncle's chamber. Thanks. That's It's just there's so much happening in every... Every cutscene is just packed with wonder. D don't hurt me, Zelda. I'll tell you the secret way into Resong Palace. You better talk fast. Go all the way left and move the rock. This key opens the gate. I'll make sure he doesn't get away. This light will penetrate the dark around Ganon. But only the wand can defeat him. Good luck! Oh. Okay. There's so much going on, yeah. <laughs> Imagine being like, fuck, when did this game come out? Hang on. Let me, let me, let me check something. Zelda CDI. When did these games come out? These video games 
Came out in 1993. October 10th, 1993. I was like a little little baby. And these games were, were wreaking havoc on the world. Imagine being a 90s kid and like seeing these cutscenes. And like, how the fuck do you respond to any of this? You you just... Wait, okay, so... What games had, had come out before then? Let's see. Okay, so Link's Awakening on the Game Boy was like the... The last Zelda game to come out before these fucking things. So imagine you just got done playing Link's Awakening and you're a big Zelda fan. And then you play this shit. <laughs> oh dear... Omphak is guarding the shrine. Whatever I see, I shall devour. <laughs> so, so this is a wolf man that shot a laser beam out of his eye into a bird, and then he caught the bird, and then he turned into a lion. Uh, to light the bird on fire, and then he turned into the lips emoji to eat the bird. Who said smash? <laughs> Who said smash? Get out of here! Look at this. You want to smash this? Are you f are you fucking me right now? Is it the lion version that you want to smash, <laughs> or or the wolf man? <laughs> Ever I see. Look at this. I shall. De Why does he turn into a lion? Devour. Mm. And chat's like, yeah. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Mmm. Mmm. And then he explodes into birds. Got him. Got him. Good job, Zelda. It's too dark to see Ganon, but the Triforce says you can only win by falling. I wonder what that means. It's a riddle. You, you can fix dare him. You bring light to my lair? You must die. The the good th this cutscene by the way is legendary. That you must die, and the double thunder is, is the stuff of, of legend. I... He killed Zelda. Ah, the chains! No! You haven't seen the last of me! So, this video doesn't really give you context for how the final boss of the game works. The way it works is that you enter the room, Ganon says, YOU MUST DIE! And he does his two little thunders. Uh, and then you immediately open up your inventory, you select the Wand of Gamelon, and then you throw it at him, and he immediately dies. There, all the boss is, is you selecting an item, and then throwing it at Ganon, and you win. That's it. That's it. You've won the game. That's the big boss fight. Father! You saved me. Here's the traitor, your majesty. Please, your omnipotence, have mercy. After you've scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule, then we can talk about mercy. Take, Take him, him away. away. Yes, my liege. I wonder what happened to Link. Oh, he was a four anyway. Stop looking at yourself. What happened? <laughs> Nothing, Link. We were just about to have a feast. Great! <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the game. You did it. Let's have food. Ha 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 ha. And now you've experienced the Wand of Gamelon. <laughs> oh, God. 
Jesus Christ. I just want to see the Faces of Evil intro because this one, this one I love way more. We're just going to watch the opening. We're just going to watch the opening. I just want to watch the opening of it. That's it. That's all I want. Look how, look how disinterested Link is. He knows that he's been through this nonsense all the time. Anyway. Gee, Gee it, it sure is boring around here. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. Your Majesty, Ganon and his minions have seized the island of Koridai. Hmm, how can we help? It is written, only Link can defeat Ganon. Great! I'll grab my stuff! There is no time. Your sword is enough. How about a kiss? For luck, you've got to be kidding. Squadala, we are off! Wow, what are all those heads? These are the faces of evil. You must conquer each. I guess I better get going. Here is the map. Where do you wish to go? Yeah. Do you have any idea how many times I've watched this fucking cutscene? Because every single joke in, like, early 2000s YouTube was just people editing this cutscene into just a bunch of nonsense. I don't know why I memorized- this is cursed knowledge, okay? <laughs> I wish I could get rid of this knowledge, but I can't. Instead, uh, we're gonna watch the Morshu cutscenes where he says, Lamp oil, rope, bombs? You want them? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rupees. Fucking move, move out of the way, Link. Thank you. Lamp oil, rope, bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rubies. Literally, l I, this, this man... I see him in my dreams. In my restless dreams, I see him. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little... Mm, richer. Sorry, Link. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little... Mm, richer. <sighs> what happened to me? What the fuck is this world? What have they done to us, man? <laughs> Are you okay? No? <laughs> I can recite these stupid meme cutscenes perfectly, and I just... How do I get rid of... How do I uninstall this knowledge? Where's, uh, oh my goodness, this is awful. It's this guy. No, you must die. Oh. oh wait, no, that's not it. Oh my goodness, this is awful. Oh my goodness, this is awful. Yeah. Okay. Um Oh, okay. This is Join me, Link, and I'll make your face the greatest in Korra die, or else you will die. And it's a nightmare face. Join me, Link, and I will make your face the greatest in Korra die, or else you will die. There he is. <laughs> My humor is just going to be more broken after this. The animation on that blue suit enemy was actually kind of good. Yeah, like, the animation itself isn't bad. It's just weird. It's just unusual. It's very strange. It's very surreal. It's unique, sure. Anyway, again, you beat Ganon by throwing a thing at him. This time you throw a book at him. Not into the pit! It, it burns! burns! Okay, I don't remember as much of the ending. I remember... Wait, no! I, I kind of do. It's Gong... Zelda wakes up and says, 
Oh, what happened? I just saved you from Ganon! You did not! Ugh, why'd you do that? Oh no. I just saved you from Ganon! You did not. Well done, Link. Ganon is once again imprisoned. Come. Look, already Koridai is returning to harmony. The birds are singing. Isn't, Isn't it, it beautiful? beautiful? Golly! As it is written, you, you Link, Link, are the hero, hero of, of Koridai. Koridai! I guess that's worth a kiss, huh? Huh! I, I won! won! And the game ends with Link saying, I won. Did, did Sahasrala just cock block Link? No, that's... This 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 gentleman is not Sahasrala. He's he's a new character for Zelda CDI called Gu Guanam. And his entire job is to just be a be a fella. He just shows up and is just like, "Yo, they're under attack. Let me read you the scroll that says that only Link can defeat Ganon." You're going to the beach? I wish I could go to the beach. <laughs> instead, of, instead of watching Zelda CDI with you guys. I'm having fun. I As much as I dunk on these cutscenes, I think that they have their own kind of charm. In a, you know, nightmare kind of, kind of way. I wonder if I can recite the entire Hotel Mario opening from memory. Give me a second. We might as well go three for three on the 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 uh, the cutscenes. No. Okay. Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh. Bowser laughing. <laughs> Knights of the Princess to invite us over for a picnic, gay Luigi. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, look! It's from Bowser. Dear pesky plumbers, the Koopalings and I have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, kingdom. The princess is now a permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. I dare you to find her if you can. We gotta, we gotta find, find the princess, princess. and you gotta help us if you need instructions on how to get through the hotels check out the enclosed instruction book why do all the expression go into the eyebrows <laughs> i why is mario freaky <laughs> imagine andy saying this <laughs> I can't believe the princess invited us on a wicked sick picnic. I hope there aren't any negators ruining this stuff. This is this is where all these cutscenes come from, chat. I love how, like, you can hear him, like his his spine snap there. Where am I? But he's okay. Toast. <laughs> Where am I? Toast. Let's see. Where's the, where's the toast cutscene? Spaghetti. Ha <laughs> ha! Here's the problem: too many toasted. You know what they say: all toasters. Toast, toast. What does that even mean? What does that even mean, Mario? All toasters toast toast? Who says that? That's not even true. They toast bread. They make toast. You put bread into a toaster and then it makes toast. They don't toast toast. I want to. I'm so. I want to know who wrote like the script on on these games. 
I just, I just want to know, like, who wrote the script for this? Where they're like, and then Mario holds up a bag of bread, and he says, you know what they say, all toasters toast toast. Like, what was, what was the reason? What was the play? What was the play? Give me, did you bring a light? No. Gee, it's kind of dark. You bring a light? No. There it is. Toast. Wait, and then Luigi says something really disturbing here. Well, maybe a Koopa will lend us his if we persuade him. Why did he say it's so evil? Maybe a Koopa will lend us his if we persuade him. It's like, Luigi, what are you... What are you going to do to the Koopas? <laughs> where's that? Where's that? Get the hint? <laughs> it's hard to see through those clouds. I hope we can get rid of them. Get the hint? Yeah. <laughs> I hate this shit so much. Where's, uh, where's Mario saying, Hey, you, get off of my cloud! Hey, you, get off of my cloud! I like how it's so low quality that it just, like... <laughs> so you play this? I mean, I have played it. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll actually play it, like, on a, during a subathon or something. Peach just died. That's that creepy Bowser's lab. Look. Remember, this is it, Luigi. <laughs> Forgot the the this is it, Luigi. <laughs> I should make that one of the uh, one of the clips for the redeem. That's a that's a power line right there. Why is the Temple of Time here? <laughs> That's Anna Orlando from Dark Souls. <laughs> Mario and Luigi made it to Anna Orlando. They're gonna fight Gwyn. Oh God. Remember where there's, where there's smoke, smoke, there's fire. fire. Fucking hell. Yeah. Why do they got so much booty, though? <laughs> They're Italian plumbers, that's why. This is it, Luigi. We gotta link the first flame and prolong the age of fire. No. <laughs> But Mario, we got to get the Age of Darkness going. You have to become the Lord of Hollows. Sad plim plim plon noises. <laughs> yeah, I got to add this is it Luigi to that redeem. I feel like if people redeem that one and it plays at like key moments, I feel like that would add a lot of gravitas. If I'm about to like fight a final boss and then Mario's like, this is it, Luigi. Maybe I should add one Zelda CDI clip to that redeem, but make it super rare. Add cake guy. My cakes will burn. God, there's so, there's so many, there's so many clips from CDI that could work. Ugh. Or good, yeah. I won cake guy. The this is illegal, you know. 
The, the, like, there's a billion lines that would work. Like, that's the problem. It can't just be one. Maybe I'll have a bunch of them and have all of them be super rare. Like, 1% chance to get Cake Guy, 1% chance to get Zelda saying good. One, yeah, CDI Roulette. <laughs> one second of Zelda CDI. Honestly, yeah, I could just make it a new redeem. Just the mmm from when you're mmm richer. Yeah. That's another one. Again, there's so Like... I feel like Mar Hotel Mario has less iconic phrases than the, the Zelda CDI games. It's because, like, so many people have made so many YouTube poops of these cutscenes that every single, like, phrase of these games has been, like, memed to death. Like, the king saying dinner is, like... It's... It's been engraved upon your soul. You only know of Hotel Mario because of my redeem? Good. <laughs> good! <laughs> Fuck, every time I say good now, it's- it's- I'm gonna be calling back to Zelda saying it. You killed me! Good. What if... Okay, here's the thing, chat. <laughs> Every time I'm frustrated, I'll be thinking, This is illegal, you know. <laughs> God. Oh, oh, okay. What if I added, like, Zelda's, like, pre-post-good, like, smirk as an emote? Have it be Ben- Ben be- Ben Bev good. And anytime I say good, you guys can just spam that. SpongeBob and Candy Valley stuff. Oh, like a, like a hyper realistic redraw of Zelda's smirk. How was your day? Good. Good. No, I have to say it specifically like Zelda. Okay. Um. I have been looking for someone to raid. There is hi yeah, I know there's hyper realistic Morshu fan art. Um you, you, okay, I got to I got to tell you guys about something insane. You know those two cutscenes that we saw from Morshu like the 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 uh the big shop guy who was like come back when you're a little mm, richer. Someone took those two cutscenes worth of dialogue and sentenced mixed all of the words that he made and made him say the entire Bible. It is an... It is a... It is an 83 hour long video. I'm gonna show this to you guys. This will be the last thing before we we go raid uh, Paul Castro Jr. because he's he's streaming a uh, Star Rail. I'm just gonna show you a bit of it, just so you know that it's real. I just I just want you to see this. I just you need to see this. You must see. You must see. <laughs> you must look. Look with your eyes. You will see. You will see as I have seen.
Morshu reads the entire Bible. No AI. It's this for, for, I'm sorry, what was it again? Three days, 11 hours, and six minutes. It's the entire fucking Bible. Don't give me an ad, I'm going to destroy you. Give me more. Imagine showing this to like a small Victorian child. Like... It, he would explode. The original would take them out too. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so yeah, if anybody's having a cri a crisis of faith, just watch Morshu reads the Bible for three days. God, it's got almost two million views. <laughs> the top comment is, when the title said no AI, I expected someone with a Morshu impression to read the entire thing in a single setting. <laughs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You want it? It's yours, my friend. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, we're gonna go raid uh, Paul Caster Jr. How do you edit all of that? I don't know. I, I think it took this guy like several years. It's 108 gigabytes. Like, the video is 108 gigabytes. Jesus Christ. I gotta- I gotta admire the, uh, the persistence that some people have for incredibly esoteric jokes. Anyway. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. Uh, I will try not to have as much of a gap until the next stream. We're gonna... We're probably gonna do something on Monday. Uh, it might be Void Stranger. We'll see. But until then, take care, guys. Let's go give Paul a ton of love. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Have Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one and take care. Bye bye. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah. Bye bye.